Hi everyone, welcome to this new video of me. Because I have a great laser now, I had the idea of making a wooden sign and I love Winnie the Pooh, so I combined the two together. I'm planing down my wood into the right thickness for Winnie the Pooh. Let's see if I have enough wood to lay all the pieces down. And for the drawing you can just search on Google for a coloring page of Winnie the Pooh. I'm starting with the head of Winnie the Pooh. Cut it out on the bandsaw or scroll saw, but I like my bandsaw more. I'm sanding down to the line on my little belt sander. For the inner curves I'm using my little spindle sander. Now that you've made your first piece, it's important to use that piece always as a reference for another piece. This way if you cut a little bit wrong on the line, it's not that bad. After a while I've cut out all the pieces and now I'm sanding them smooth. Now it's time for some transferring of the lines. I'm sticking down my piece with double sided tape on the table so I can easily remove my paper template and transfer the lines. I'm using my wood burner to burn the lines. Round over all the edges of Winnie the Pooh. Look how cute Winnie the Pooh is. I mean, really, I love it. Here I'm making a large board for the cloud.
To align the two boards, I'm using this towel and shake. I received it a while ago from Tutok, but I can't find them anymore on the internet. It's the first time I was using it and I thought I would really like it, but then I saw the boards weren't aligned. But after making another board, I discovered the problem. You need to switch the chick always to the same side. So there was no other option than flattening the board again. Sanding it smooth and oh man, do I love such a big board. Because I'm a toy maker, I'm always working with small wood and this was big wood for me. It's time for my laser to work. Now that the laser is done, I can cut out the cloud on the bandsaw. Sand away all the bandsaw marks and again this little disc sander and belt sander comes in really handy. Round over the edges a bit with the Dremel. And now it's time to finish with Rubio Monocoat and bring Winnie the Pooh to life.
Someone also requested me to make a jungle themed sign. So I made a monkey and man do I love this sign also. Hi! Thanks for watching this video until the end. This was a very fun project. I liked it a lot. So I made Winnie the Pooh and the little baby monkey. This one still needs a clear coat on it. But let me know in the comments down below which one do you like most. And I'll see you in one of my other videos. Bye!